Hi everyone, Rainy here, and today I want to show you how to make a super easy scarf joint jig. And this jig is going to be using your table saw and some clamps. So I'm going to be going down in the shop shortly. Shop shortly, say that three times fast, <laughs> to show you how to do it. Now, what is this jig used for? If you go on my site, you'll see that I have some other uh, jigs. I have a plywood jig with the plans on how to build it and everything, and I have other different scarfing videos. But this one is to scarf those one by three or one by two ribs uh, that you use for chines or for shear clamps. And... Now, I'm building a 32-foot-long Chesapeake Bay Dead Rise, okay? So I need these things to be probably about 34 feet long to be able to round. And my car will only hold 10, possibly 12-foot ribs or 12-foot lumber if I open the windows, all right, and knock over a few pedestrians on the way home. So what I need to do is use this scarf joint to take smaller pieces of wood and make the full size ones to be able to go the full length of my boat. So that's what we're going to do today. And this jig I'm going to show you, I like it because it's quick and a lot more accurate than other methods like sanding or using a router. Okay, so it's quick, it cuts a lot cleaner, and then all you do is take the two ends and put them together. Now, the only negative thing, I guess you could say about, you know, scarfing smaller pieces of wood rather than, you know, going out and getting the big ones is the hard spots. Because when you glue them together, it creates a hard spot, whereas regular lumber is a lot more flexible. But with the one by threes, I'm just going to make sure that I scarf at the places where I'm not going to have much of a bend. So if it's a 10 foot long piece of wood, I'm going to make sure that the regular wood bends, you know, around the real bendy sections. I think that's the proper term for it. Bendy section. <laughs> okay. So, uh, and then you use the, the hard spot or where you glued it. Okay. Where it's, where it's straight, but don't worry about it because usually, especially if you're using uh, any kind of like resin uh, with a little bit of, uh, sawdust to thicken up the glue. That's just as strong as the wood. Sometimes it's even stronger. Now, I'm not sure the exact length you're supposed to have, but mine is going to be about a 16 to 1 overlap. So 16 to 1, that's about 12 inches long. And I believe that's a lot longer than you need to do to get the strength. So anyways, like I said before, go see my other videos to uh, if you're interested in a plywood scarfing jig or you want to see other methods that you can use to scarf wood together. And now it's time to go downstairs in the man cave and show you how to put this jig together. See you there. So in order to build this scarf jig, we're going to need to start with a piece of wood. That's about five feet long. So what I have here is a two by six by five. Okay. Uh, luckily, I had a scrap left over that was exactly five feet. And then I've got to do some measuring on it. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to measure from this end one inch. And well, actually, I'm going to do one inch from that end and four and a half inches from this end. Doesn't really matter, but I already. <laughs> started with it so four and a half inches comes to right here I made a mark already and one inch over here and I need to make a line from one to the other so I don't have a ruler that big unfortunately so I'm going to go ahead and do it this way There we go. So there's my line, and I need to cut that. Now, the problem is trying to cut that on the saw uh, is going to be impossible. <laughs> you can cut it with a, a handsaw, a circular saw, uh, but again, unless you have some kind of a gauge, it's going to be hard to cut it that way. So the cut needs to be perfectly straight, and you need to make sure your blade is perfectly straight also. 
otherwise you're not going to get the proper scarf when you uh, use the jig with a piece of wood. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I am going to screw this piece of wood onto a piece of plywood so the plywood will go through straight but it'll cut this the way I want to cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and come back and show it to you once it's ready. So what I've done is I found a piece of plywood that's straight and I've measured five inches from the end to this line. So five inches from the end to this line here and I'm going to screw it in and on this line the same thing five inches from there to this end. It's a little bit off. There we go. Let me double check. So the five inch mark is the four and a half inch that I put in this one and it's the one inch there so when I cut it's going to cut this exactly how it should should be. So what I'm going to do is just screw them together. There we go. Put another one over here. again I am going to use this bar so let's see that's five inches there there we go that appears to be just right must have stuck here, that's why I stopped it right here. Alright. I used a 2x6 and did this is I now have a smooth one but I have a second one so if I have trouble as you can see both of these are the exact same size so it gives you double all right I'm just about finished this is what we have the end product like I said I got two of these pieces cut evenly now what we need to do after that is to make two holes right over here and right over here. This one here, I made them the width of whatever clamp you're going to use so it would fit right in there. And it has to be 18 inches from here to here and one inch from this, this part right here. Same thing here, 18 inches from the end. I put another one and one inch from the edge. All right. So, and what I did was on this side, I made a little 
a little slot so this is so this is even one inch all the way across now the way I did that was I measured one inch and just ran it through and then cut it with my Chinese saw all right so the way this works now that you have it all clamped and ready to go see I'm going to do this one right here a one by three and I'm going to scarf it on the end let's scarf it on this end okay so what you need to do is you need to connect it to this piece right here like that and how am I going to do that so I take this piece here, put it down, and the piece we're going to scarf, make sure it goes right to the edge. This clamp here is going to go in the hole and hold your 1x3 in place. Okay? And then this one, the same thing, make sure it's all level, is going to hold the 1x3 in place. And to give it a little bit of added strength, we go and do that at the end over here. That's why this end here is flat. There we go. So it's holding the whole thing in place. And then you measure to make sure when you start cutting, it cuts. Let's see. Then you measure when it starts cutting, that it's going to start cutting just on the one by three. This one looks like it's a little warped. So I'll flip it over. Just on the one by three, you don't want it to cut your, your jig, okay? And it's going to cut perfectly straight. Let me go ahead and flip this over real quick. Unfortunately, these one by threes grew up really fast. Now the reason the hole is 18 inches is so it doesn't, that doesn't touch the saw blade. Okay, so now we're all set. See how it came right to the edge? There. So now, we simply turn on the saw blade. See how slick that came out? Put the jig over here. And well, I got a little bit feathered on the side, but you can see how you got a nice one there. I did this one earlier. So you get this one here, put the two together. and simply glue them. Now the easiest way to glue them is put some glue in between. Make sure you don't put too much glue but just make sure everything is touched at least on one side and put a couple thumbtacks right in here. That's going to keep your alignment okay. Put a couple thumbtacks in there you got the glue and then just use a couple of your little vice grips to hold it until it dries and you did a perfect scarf with the scarf jig. So give it a shot and let me know how it works for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.